All right, Cancer, welcome to your weekly sidereal astrology forecast. This is for the 12th of October through the 18th. My name is Athen. So this is, of course, for sidereal astrology. If you're new to this type of astrology, do check the description down below because your sign might be different. All right, Cancer, another very powerful week as it has been with all these eclipses and everything uh, shaping up in uh, last month and this month in October. And this is no exception. But this week looks actually quite supportive, all things being considered. It's as you can see here in the transit graph, a lot of blue energy and some very nice transits, actually. Mars conjoining Jupiter, who has been trining up to Pluto. So uh, that's a very nice trine. We do have a new moon on Monday. Good support from Mercury and Saturn. And um, yeah, it's a new beginning time. So the news with the new moon on Monday is shaping up around your third house of communications, of um, socializing of working with, uh, you know, either the mental sphere of things, the communicative spheres of life, uh, meeting people, socializing, maybe new relationships with your siblings, things of that nature, or your peers even, that's all third house. And uh, yeah, this week, although the energies are low, you know, and especially for you Cancerians, it's so important to follow the lunar cycle. Um, it's a great time to set intentions. It's a great time to slowly experiment, try new things, modify, be adaptive. I think you already have been with Mercury retrograde in that third house. Maybe you've been reflecting on how you communicate, how you think, how you write, things like that. Maybe even taking a breather from those things for a second. And now Mercury begins to move forward uh, this week as he gains his momentum from his retrograde of the past few weeks. So, um, yeah, lowering of energies, but a good time to uh, slowly move forward. And as the week unfolds, more of that energy will be building. And it's all relating to the more social, communicative and thinking aspects of your life. Could be, you know, for example, some of you might be writing a new book, some of you might be taking a new course or a new class, um, things like that. Maybe just feeling like you want to connect more on a more lighthearted and social sort of way. So that's the early part of the week. Mercury sextiling up to Saturn is actually still going on. That's going to go exact on Tuesday, actually. So there is still good support for you to do these third house things. Mercury naturally does rule that third house and your 12th house. So maybe getting some R&R, &R, some spiritual time could be an early part of the week to do that. And um, Saturn in your, um, what is this, your fifth house of self-expression is that you guys over the next two years now with Saturn transitioning into Scorpio, it's going to be about building solid foundations with the way you express yourself. Um, this is more to do with like your passions in life and they become very serious. So if you've been thinking about starting a new business, a new creative project, um, whatever it is that you feel like is something that you're, you know, it's true to your heart, it's a time to really work hard at it for the next couple of years. And you can do that. And that's a uh, very easy energy to work with, all things being considered um, this uh, first few days. And the more I think you are open to setting solid foundations with those passions and self-expressive things or just expressing yourself in general, then it's that much more fuel to these new beginnings around communication and uh, your thoughts and all that sort of stuff. So that's the first half. Um, as you can see, things begin to shift into a new direction around midweek. And this is relating to Mars going over Jupiter while well, Jupiter's been trining up to Pluto. So very nice aspect. Uh, it's a great time for change for all of us. I think we're open to it, or at least uh, it's supportive when we are. And this is, around, this is around change relating to your work, your daily activities, your health, your diet routine, which is that sixth, ho that sixth house where Pluto's been. Uh, now trining up to all this expansion with the material aspects of life. You've had Jupiter in the second house of finances, of your self-confidence, your self-esteem, um, going after your values, and it could be material values, but all kinds of values in life. So there's opportunities continuing this week, especially with Mars going over that, activating again this trine up to Pluto. So Mars is that self-expression. I think you guys could be feeling quite optimistic about that this later part of the week. Maybe some opportunities to express yourself. Maybe opportunities at work, since Jupiter does rule your 10th house as well. And uh, after all, Pluto is in your 6th house of work also, so that's quite nice. It does depend on your personal chart, but there are things shaping up there. And it's certainly for the future. It's for your life path which is Pluto in Sagittarius, and uh, all this stuff is unfolding slowly, um, especially relating to, again, that more social sphere of life. So, uh, yeah, very nice. Good, could be good optimism, could be good energy for all of us, and um, opportunities specifically around the financial, material, career, or self-expressive part of your life. So that's uh, while that's going on, Venus is going to be opposing up to Neptune as well. 
And this is nothing new, actually. Um, all of these fast-moving planets have all gone over this position the past couple months. So it's all about uncertainty, right? And uh, with Venus, it's finishing it up. She's the last of the fast-moving planets to go over this position, which is about uncertainty, about life in general, about the future, about the ebb and flows of life, beginnings, endings, life, death, all of this stuff that... For you, is finding the spiritual beauty in that. You know, that's Neptune in the eighth and getting deep, getting raw, getting vulnerable, all that in a spiritual way, you know, whether it's with yourself, your relationships. It's all about transformation and change, which is invoking rest, spiritual freedom in the sense of you can relax into the unknown and, you know, go with the flow. So anyways, uh, nothing new. It's very similar. For you, it might have to do with home and family matters. I think it will be an important Neptune consideration. Again, the financial stuff, maybe you don't know exactly where it's headed or whatever, but that's okay. And um, groups and friends as well will be important to have that compassion or uncertainty and relax into that. But uh, that's not going to be the high point, although it will be important to consider. The high point will be Mars over Jupiter, optimism, expansive with your act expansion with your actions as well as new beginnings around the um, communicative uh, learning reading writing sharing all that information moving forward which is mercury going direct in that third house as well so cancer have a great week thanks for watching if you guys have any questions please let me know and i'll see you all next time take care